Hello friends in this lecture we are going to continue the dynamic analysis in abacus and we are going to perform a dynamic or crash analysis of a crash box now crash box is one of the most important component in a car or any automobile for safety purpose so first let's talk about what is crash box what are its design criterion and then we are going to perform the analysis so crash box is one of the most important part for the safety of a passenger vehicle and the main function of the crash box is to absorb the impact energy so impact means whenever there is a sudden accident or we can say when the vehicle collide with any other vehicle or any other thing due to that collapse or colliding a sudden impact load is generated and the main function of crash box is to absorb that impact load so that the passenger remains safe since all the impact load is absorbed by the crash box less force is transferred to the occupants now let's see the location of crash box in the automobile so this is the frame of a car now inside this car you can see we have all the frame so if you take a look at from the front side you can see the bumper so this part is bumper and you can see these two parts this is one side and this is on the other side these parts are called the crash box so whenever any impact or any accident take place from the front side so whenever this automobile is going to collide with any other body you can see the first impact will be on the bumper and after that bumper all the load will be transferred to these crash boxes so this one crash box and this another so here the main function of this crash box as we already discussed is to absorb the load or the energy so that the less force or energy is transferred to the occupant and all the other remaining components so crash box is like a tube shaped object which is located near bumper and the chassis and crash box in automobiles helps to reduce the impact on energy during the collision so during the impact the shock energy is converted into strain energy by the crumpling of the crash box so later on we will explain what is crumpling so crash box plays very important role for the safety of the vehicle and reduction of repair cost so due to any collision there is also the part damage now let's see the design criteria for the crash box crash box are designed in such a way that it does not bend during the collision because if it bends it will transfer all the energy to the passenger vehicles or other component of the vehicle so instead of crush it should crumple so if the crash box bend it absorbs the lesser energy and the shock load will be transferred to other parts and the occupant so here you can see the physical testing of any automobile so in this type of physical testing a car is impacted on a rigid wall so here you can see the wall this is rigid wall and the car is moving with certain velocity so in different countries they have different criterion for the passenger safety of the vehicle so let's see the meaning of crumpling so here you can see a front view of uh, bumper and the crash box so whenever any impact is going to take place so let's say the vehicle is impacted with a rigid wall from the top or we can say from the front side ideally the crash box should crumple like this so here you can see the crumpling so crumpling means it is folding by itself so here you can see how the crash box is crumpling now crash box come in various shapes and sizes so one of the popular sizes are like 
square, circle, rectangular shape. Nowadays, hexagon and octagon profiles are more popular. If you take a look at any crash box, you can see these types of beads here. So the main advantage of having these beads is that so it is going to help in crumpling of the crash box. So if you do not provide in the crash box these types of bead, it may be possible that it will be much more rigid. So rigid means it is going to bend, but we want it to be crumple. So if you take a look at any of the crash box in, in a vehicle, you will see these types of beads. So in this problem, we are going to perform the analysis of a crash box. Hello friends. In this lecture, we will continue with design and analysis of a crash box. So in the previous lecture, we had discussed about different design parameters, importance of the crash box. So we had learned about its all the locations and about all the design importance. So now in this lecture, we are going to start our simulation. So first we are going to learn about its physical testing. So now if you take a look at the crash box we have taken in this analysis, we have a square size. So if I take a look at here, you can see it is square in profile. Here we have used the rigid wall on the top and bottom and we have defined the contact between this rigid wall and rigid wall from the bottom. So before going into the software, first of all, let's understand how the physical testing of crash box. So this is a basic setup for the testing of crash box. So inside this crash box testing machine, here you can see a crash box is placed. So here is the crash box or you can see the location here. This is the location where the crash box is placed. From the bottom it is fixed and from the top it is also fixed. Now here you can see a dead weight. So this is basically weight. So these are the plates which have some weight and this weight is impacted onto this crash box from the top like this. So it is going in vertical downward direction. So here we have pulley arrangement by which this mass is controlled. So due to this sudden impact, you will see that the crash box will crumple. So it will move by a certain distance. So it will move, let's say it will, so let's say it will move by a distance of anything by in negative direction. And in the bottom we have load cell. And again here we also have a scaling system. So with the scaling system, we can measure the height and with this load cell, we can also find out the energy stored in this system. So how much strain energy will be stored. You can calculate the strain from here and then you can calculate the strain energy and all other parameters. So similarly in this problem, we are going to follow this testing. So if you take a look at the crash box, we are going to fix it from the bottom and then we are going to give it some displacement from the top. So displacement will be in downward direction and then we are going to check whether it is crumpling or and how much energy it is storing. So with this we are going to continue this in the next lecture. We will start modeling and performing the simulation.